Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. It's me, Manny from Manny's Man at Home, and in my channel, I love to share with you some simple or some over the top, but totally delicious recipes to share with your friends and family. If you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I've got great recipes already posted and even better stuff coming up. Today's recipe is quintessentially Irish. It's the super traditional bacon and cabbage. Let's look at the ingredients that we're going to need. All right, this recipe is literally one of the simplest ones that I'm ever gonna show you how to do. And if you were to ask any Irish person what's a traditional Irish meal, most people would say bacon and cabbage. It is so simple and it's delicious. All I have here is some bacon joint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into a pot, cover it with water and boil it for about 60 minutes. Typically I would do 20 minutes of boiling time per half a kilo of pork. You just pop that in there and top it up with water. Typically you might also find that the bacon is quite salty so you might want to soak it for a couple of hours or overnight but I'm not going to do that today. I'll just be very cautious not to be adding a lot of salt to any of the other elements of the dish. And while my bacon is boiling away I'm going to prep my cabbage. So I just have a green cabbage here and I'm just going to take off the outer leaves and I'm going to slice it in half. Take out the core and then I'm just going to slice it. I'm gonna put them in a colander so I can give them a rinse. So I'm gonna bring these over to the sink and give them a rinse and separate them out and they're ready for when I need them. Since I have a bit of downtime, I'm also gonna prep my potatoes. You can accompany your bacon and cabbage with any form of potato, boiled potatoes, roasties, but I'm gonna do some creamy mash. And I'm gonna cut them up a bit just to cut down on the cooking time. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. Let's have a quick look at how our pork is looking like. As I mentioned earlier, typically you could actually soak your bacon overnight to kind of help to reduce a bit of the saltiness. Another thing you could do is at this point change out the water. Now, I had a quick taste there. It doesn't taste overly salty or anything like that. And I do want all that flavor that the bacon is releasing to help me to cook my cabbage. So I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm going to move on to my potatoes. So all I have to do is add them into a pot. Top them up with water, boil until soft, and then we're going to mash them. So simple. Okay, the time is up now. So I'm just gonna go and add my cabbage into my pot. I'm gonna put the lid back on and let that cook for 10 to 15 minutes. I want it to get a little bit softer, but I want the green color to remain. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get my mashed potato ready. I'm just gonna pass my potatoes through a potato ricer. I got this one recently and it's way better than using a standard hand potato masher. And I'm gonna go in with some Irish butter now. And just a little bit of cream. And I'm gonna add it bit by bit until I get the right consistency. I'm not gonna add any more salt because the bacon will be quite salty and the butter is already salted as well, but I will go in with some cracks of pepper. If you don't want to see the specs, use white pepper, but I love seeing the specs throughout my mashed potato. Okay, that's it. Another five minutes on my cabbage and then we can plate up. Let's have a look. I'm gonna fish out my bacon first. And then take out my cabbage and put it into a bowl. And now let me plate it up and we can give it a taste. All right, I want to get into this piece. Uh, I'm so excited. You want to get kind of nice, thick enough slices. Next, our mash. Then we're going with some of the cabbage too. And it doesn't get any simpler than that. That is our beautiful, traditionally Irish bacon and cabbage. I'm so excited, let me give this a try. Mm, this is amazing. I can't believe such simple ingredients give you such a delicious meal. The bacon is so flavorful, nice and salty. The creamy mash is perfect with it. And you get a bit of bite and a bit of freshness from the cabbage as well. It is so delicious. Could eat this every day. And in fact, it's eating all across Ireland pretty much every Sunday. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a big like and a comment below what you thought of it. Share with all of your friends and if you try it and post it on Instagram, be sure to tag me. I would love to see it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got great stuff coming up.
If you enjoyed this recipe, you might enjoy these videos over here. Why don't you check them out? With that, I'll leave you for this video and enjoy.